if you are buying a crib, buy it from a reputable retail. Not all cribs meet the latest safety standards. Everything Delta produces does. So you get the crib, you bring it home, and I have a lot of macho people in this room. No one that's macho likes to read an instruction sheet. When it comes to the crib, read the instruction sheet. Every bit of the instruction sheet. And if at the end of assembling it, there's an extra screw, you screwed up. <laughs> we did not give you, we're not that generous. We will not give you an extra screw. If you have an issue, call the 800 number. Look on the website. And it's the same for myself or Delta or any of my, my competitors or any of my fellow manufacturers, any of your baby brand, read the instruction sheet. There's a set of warnings. You get a microwave, you get a toaster oven, you have a whole list of warnings. I don't think anybody has ever read one of those warnings. When it comes to the crib or a scroller or any of those products, read every single one of those warnings. Study them and make sure that your spouse, your friends, your caregivers, your grandparents, etc., every one of them reads, reads the warnings. Okay, because that's going to keep your child safe. Those are things that you will not realize that you have to do to keep your child safe. All simple things, by the way. They're obvious once you read them. Okay, you got the crib. You read the instruction sheets. You got it all right. You bring it home or you have it in the house. When you place the crib in the, in, inside the room, Make sure it is not near a Venetian board. It's not near a steam pipe. It's not near anything that the child can eventually touch and get hurt on. You have to think about it. It's, you have an infant that's not moving, and you're not thinking about it at that time. But as time goes on, the child, when you're least expecting, when you're sleeping, that child's going to reach around and touch something. It could be a steam pipe, and they could get burned. It could be a Venetian boy with a, with a cord and they get hurt. So take your hand, go around your arm, go around the entire crib, and make sure that they don't touch a thing. All right? Um, OK. You want them to be warm. Get the blanket. No blankets in the crib. A blanket is a potential suffocation hazard. Sleep sacks, simple vibes <laughs> that people use today, but no, no blankets. OK. Pillows. I fight my wife every night over a dozen pillows that are sitting on the bed. No pillows for the, for the, for the child. Nothing. Yeah. I slept with one of these till I was about 40. <laughs> <laughs> Love them. Great. Stuffed toys. Cute. Cute animals. Great. Out of the crib. <laughs> Nothing in the crib. Out. You want a clean, clean sleeping environment for the child, all right? Uh